Frustration from teachers and educators in Knox County Schools has boiled over this year. Yeah, more than 350 school employees will not be coming back next year, and one of those is the principal of Maynard Elementary School. Now, he says the lack of support and communication from the administration is no longer something he can bear. Six News reporter Alexis Zotos is covering education here in the newsroom, uh, actually in the studio. And Alexis, what did you hear today from the principal and the parents? Well, Gene, we've heard all year that a mass of teachers and principals would be leaving the district over frustrations with the administration. Now, I took a look at the numbers, and those numbers are actually down compared to last year. But as I've listened to stories like Maynard Principal Dr. Raphael Crawford, it calls into question what more is the district doing to prevent these educators from leaving? And so it's kind of like leaving your family. After three years serving as the principal of Maynard Elementary, it's time for Dr. Raphael Crawford to say goodbye. The decision was, was born out of frustration. Uh, it was born out of uh, a sense of hopelessness. Crawford turned in his resignation in March, saying he could no longer deal with the lack of communication from the administration. When I've had times where I needed their help, where I needed some guidance from them, they don't respond. Uh, he doesn't respond. His people won't respond. Those feelings were heard loud and clear last night at the Knox County School Board meeting as he stood before the board accusing the system of taking resources out of Maynard Elementary. We asked Dr. McIntyre if that was true. The bottom line is, um, he has been supported and the school has been supported. According to Dr. McIntyre, Maynard Elementary has the lowest student to teacher ratio in the district and receives the second most Title I dollars. He says they continue to address the concerns with communication. Can we get better at internal communication and, and uh, you know, making sure that that, that two-way dialogue is there and, and happening and, and effective? Absolutely. We can always get better at that. Community members have rallied behind Dr. Crawford and feel the district essentially forced him out. It doesn't bother just me. It bothers the community. And while Crawford says he doesn't want to leave his students, he doesn't feel he has a choice. I believe we really can make it better. We can get the scores good. We can make kids more successful. Uh, but I don't see the support that I need to make that happen. Now, we did request the personnel file for Dr. Crawford. He has been written up two times during his tenure. The latest was in March for writing what the district called an unprofessional and inappropriate email. He was put on leave for a day right before his resignation. Dr. Crawford says he feels he was punished because he continued to speak out against the administration, and it was the last straw. On your side in the studio, Alexis Zotos. Six News. All right, interesting year. Thank you, Alexis. Now, Knox County has hired Kim Cullum as the new principal for Maynard. We sat down with her to talk about her hopes for the future of that school. You'll find that interview on our website, wate.com.